Yeah, I'll have a salad as a decoration. <laughs> oh, it actually works! Anyway, so yes, Amber Isle is here. Uh, I've never played this, obviously. The game just came out, what am I talking about? Uh, but yeah, Amber Isle. It's, uh, it's apparently a game. Make a cute dinosaur, befriend cute dinosaurs, and, uh, yeah. Do capitalism. I don't think there was a Dilophosaurus option. Wait, I can't be a Dilophosaurus? Wait, hold up. Oh no, there, I, there's no option to be naked, unfortunately. I guess even in the civilized, uh, capitalist dinosaur society, running around naked is apparently a crime. Uh. Oh look, we're passing by an over an island right now. I wonder what type of folk you'll make at a home. What's that down below? It's a charming little cottage. It looks like it's seen better days though. Hey, don't lean too far overboard or you'll... Oh. Are you okay? Hey, wake up! Hello. Oh good, you're alive. Oh, too bad. Judging from the shambles you've left in the shop and you're in debt of roughly... 50,000! Uh, I can afford that. I don't think there's, like, medical insurance here. I can't- I don't care how, but when I wake up in the morning, this roof better be good as new. Good day. Right, so we fell out of the sky, now we need to make a wo woven basket. The reason I'm saying this right now is because I'm- There's no way I'm gonna leave all of that in the video, right? <laughs> right, let's quickly make that up. Woven basket, right. It's not, I know it's not much, but please take this. A hundred? Pretty sure I'm not blind. I thought I think I thought I saw 533 there. With this damage may be fixed, but you've broken several amber eye laws. I face with no option but to issue a fine of five five hundred thousand. However, it's clear that you have haven't the, haven't the amber to pay for this. You say you lost your wallet when you fell from a balloon at the start of your pally adventure. That's the oldest excuse in the book. It's all rather shady if you ask me, and I will not allow squatters in my village. Hey, squatters rights. So I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Oh. Hello. Oh, great. Here comes Mr. Bureaucracy. Did I hear an argument happening? I can finally put that course on conflict resolution to good use. Ah, or corp. Ah. I was making my usual mild coffee, asking pertinent questions about uh, offering lots of handy hints to my bosses about their spelling and grammar errors when I was trusted to travel 10,000 miles away with one goal to restore the beautiful Amber Isle to its former glory. Ah, so you practically got evicted. And what do you have to say? Do you believe? Uh, well, <laughs> I, I love how the game uh, realizes that there, there's really no way if I can say no to this. Well, here it is. This will be our very own shop. Go on, bask in its potential. Right, quests. Right, we need to go Starfall Meadow. Well, we can track that. Uh-huh, right. Three gra oh, now I can pick things up, okay. What was that? A claw? Okay, whose claw was that? What kind of animal just drops their claw? Okay, what, let's see what we, what we, what we want to be. Uh, artisan, carpenter, chef, gardener, musician, scribe, stylist. I think we're gonna go with chef because the last guy you want to mess with is the guy who makes your food. This won't be the official until the major signs it, but it's my first property contact. What's your shop? It's the... Uh... It's Walmart. <laughs> oh my gosh, Walmart! It's perfect! Yes, indeed. <laughs> Sounds like somewhere you got go to get a good deal. Well, it's the moment of truth. Time to get Walmart ready for business. Alright. Wait, hold up. Did I, did I actually just soft lock myself? No, okay, no, I can do that, right. Okay, you're a crafting machine, but it'll all be for nothing if you can't display them nicely. These here are your display units. You can place your items on here. Wood planks, stone bricks. All right, one more thing left to do. Set your prices. You must do this before you open the shop, as you once that door opens, you can't change it. All right, okay then. Uh, I mean, it's not like they got any anywhere else to go, right? <laughs> 90 bucks for a piece of paper. Let's go. And besides, right? It's an actual business strategy. Make your pr base price really, really high. So that, that way the, the dinosaurs will feel like they're getting a good deal. Even if I actually end up overpricing the item by a lot. It's actual business capital. All right, Lofo. Now it's time to learn how to secure a haggle sale. Maple, kindly play along, won't you? Uh, on Amber Isle, if we love an item but not the price, it's time to haggle. You and your customers may go back and forth until you agree on a price. Oh, so it is like uh, that, that TV show, right? 
Uh, this is your current asking price. Should I be hearing this part? Try increasing a good bit. Uh... No. Obviously, we're gonna go for the maximum. Um, this is quite pricey. Like, ridiculously pricey. I know! <laughs> you can go elsewhere if you want. <laughs> well done. Now pay close attention to this part. After landing a sail, you can get a good idea of how it went down. Here you can see the amber made and friendship gained. What are we looking at here? Don't worry about it, Maple. <laughs> oh, yes. A social manipulation. <laughs> right. Two customers. 102! See? This is what I mean. Right, look how we are rolling in dough. Right. Well, maybe not rolling, but it, we, we can make a splash with that at least, right? Uh, we got things. Is that an Animalocaris? Wait, there's an Animalocaris in this game? Ah, seeing you start all the shopkeeping reminds me of when I first came to Amber Isle. Ah, so optimistic. Don't worry, I'm just being dramatic. Right, they want Amber Isle to be everything I know it can be. And they think I'm the palio for foot the job. Little did they, they know, I was the one who's gonna turn this into a capitalistic dystopia. <laughs> We've done a lot today. Now I need to go do the rest of my work. All right, well then, what now? Can I go outside? Or do I have to s stay inside? No, may I not exit? God damn it! Right. Well, I suppose the society hasn't evolved to the point where we take like four hour uh, sleeping sleeping times, and we aren't like we aren't this dystopian yet. Right. Before we'll know, we'll have people only sleep four hours and work twelve hours or sixteen hours or more for barely above minimum wage. <laughs> Good morning, Lofo. I don't know about you, but I slept slept like a log last night. A whole four hours. Oh, well, never mind. Seems like we did actually evolve to that level already. Oh, it's, it's an, like, it's an, uh, please, you saw. Oi, mateys, it's here, I'm Bile. Yes, it is. Uh, you came on purpose? I mean, that's, it's to say you're welcome. What's your name? Name's Coral Scimitide, finest sailor to have ever sailed to seas. Try saying that one three times fast. Nah, if you pay me, I might. Uh, we got Coral. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, she is a plesiosaur. She's got to love the, love the little tail fin here. Alright, seems that we've reached the next stage of capitalism, boys, and that is, uh, destroying Mother Nature. It's just like that movie, uh, what was it called again? The Borax or something, I think? Uh, eek! Someone help me! Uh, will you pay me to? Hold up, you better pay me for that. Ah, gosh, I'm Nelly Woodhorn. Um, anyways, okay, thank you for saving me. Uh, Lofo, you're the shopkeeper that I'm here to visit. Oh my gosh, what a terrible first impression. I'll definitely visit Walmart later, Lofo. Thanks again. Ah, oh, Nelly, that was so lame. Well, at least she's self-aware. <laughs> All right, well, now that we've done our daily bountiful harvest, it's time for us to go to the shop. Let's go Veggie Warp Supreme. A bunch of bowls. Right. Ooh, woven basket, right. Oh, why these only cost one wood? Wait, that might be the thing that's like the biggest bang for the buck, actually. This is so good. We're only gonna make these then. As we do in dinosaur capitalist society, we do the bare minimum for the most maximum of profits. Open the floodgates. Oh yeah, set your prices. Of course. Of course we're gonna ask for the maximum. Baskets for sale. Only gonna cost you $2,000. It's not like anyone else sells these. Ah, you saved me in the meta earlier. Uh, wait, maybe you don't remember. Yeah, I actually don't remember because you didn't pay me! Alright, counter offer. What? You can offer, offer me half? No, we're, do we're, we're doing 1k. Now, Lofo, I don't, but the price is just so silly. I know. The price is a bit unfair. How about... You barely change your price. Well, you know what? I can do... Right. We'll do 1399. You know you know how like uh, Walmart and stuff, how, uh, how they uh, put things at 99 just to make it seem like it's a bit cheaper? It's kind of like uh, the same logic as having like 3.99 to make it seem like you're, it's a bit cheaper. It's, it's, it's an actual tactic, right? <laughs> I don't think I can afford that. How about... Yeah! That works! That works! Right! <laughs> Oh, you're even paying me tips? You can even tip me? 
Well, I suppose I did ask you to pay me earlier. Cryolo crayons. Well, I guess we can get. We'll get Cryolo crayons, right? Oh wait, that's that's no, that's artisan. I thought that was food. Those are crayons, Lovo. What? Why do you think they'd be food? Are you stupid? Right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, well, I guess we you know go for the salad. Fryers. Oh yeah, fries might be good. Chef item desirability. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go for that next. The next day. Ah, it's you again. <laughs> Shop ranking! Oh, wait, what? There's competition? I knew it! Uh, redecorating is in order. Alright. Yeah, I'll have a salad as a decoration. <laughs> oh, it actually works? Okay. One eternity later. Yeah, uh, I, I, th I think that's enough baskets, don't you guys think? And also a salad. F just for some good measure. Right. Improve your shop rank, I see, lad. But increased footfall isn't all fun and games. This display, for instance, dusty. These footprints, dirty. Disgraceful. Alright, shop duster. Oh, can't I pay someone to do this stuff for me? But for now, I suppose I have to stick to doing this myself. <laughs> Ugh. What is this game about? Oh, just capitalist dinosaur society, man. Obviously, gonna go. we're gonna go for the maximum once again. We're not letting off anyone here, cheap. You're not good enough, right? <laughs> Aye aye! Alright, 4.5k! And tips! Wait, 10?! You've gotta be shitting me! I've been up here all day and still haven't found it! It's gotta be perfect! Ah, sorry pal, name's Chester. Blacksmith and rock merchant. I mean, yeah, no wonder you haven't found anything, the mine's closed! Stupid, right? <laughs> The next day. Good morning. Okay. I have nothing to teach you today. Hooray! <laughs> right. Learn on the job. Right. Making the 20,000 amber. Right. We're almost done. Break a leg or smash a sales target. Why not both? I can do both. I I'm obviously very early on in the game, so I'm not quite sure. But, like, why would I use a four wooden planks and two paper to get six hundred dollars when I can simply make a basket and get like almost double for one piece of wood fused. Oh wait guys you know what we should do? We should put the Dino Rite of Spring. Let's don't sell it, let's display it. What do you mean I can actually hang it up? I ha I have to put it on the floor? And like the worst part of it is, is that it's it's like not even hanging on the wall. It's just, it's just, it's just balancing itself carefully on the floor. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hong Shu, me, 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 not the binding. Put the whole punch down, Maple. Oh no, thank goodness, it was just a nightmare. Ah, what time is it? Sorry, I was meant to come see you, Lofa, wasn't I? You can't escape that easy. I'm sorry, Lofa, I was just so tired. Well, too bad. Anything for you, I suppose. Well, that's just great to hear, Luffo. I think you might be the first friend I've made since working for Orpool. Well, at least he thinks he's my friend. Uh, so I guess that's that's what matters if uh, we're close, I guess. We got hatch days. I gotta prepare birthday gifts for all of these guys. Ugh, best I can offer is a rock. Alright, guys. So, I think that is enough for today. So, yeah, that is it. So, yeah, Amber Isle, great game. Um, yeah. We're almost at the starting stages of turning this in this beautiful little island, cutesy, beautiful, fantastic little dinosaur island, into a capitalistic dystopia where everyone's dead inside. But yeah, that is gonna be it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, may the Jurassic Sprint with you. Bye bye.